When we compare experts and novices, there are four domains we're going to look at. And the first domain is connections. When novices see problems, they see similar ideas. They group them by topic or they group them by similar themes, and then they can place them into their buckets. And these are often defined by schema that they already have defined. So these schema get more well-developed and things are added to it. Experts, on the other hand, tend to see relationships between similar but not necessarily the same ideas. So they can group, they can regroup, and they can build new understanding that combines these different ideas because they understand how these schemata re relate to one another. So instead of going deeper into single ideas, they can make connections between different ideas because they have those well-formulated uh, schemas. They see the relationships between them. And because they see relationships, that allows them to fall into the big picture. And that's domain number two. Experts tend to think in big ideas. They can see the relationships between individual components of big ideas. So in this case, they can see the relationship of the rocket to the moon and the earth. Now, this is a huge idea with a lot of moving parts, but because they're experts, they understand the relationships between system A, system B, and how that relates to system C of whatever that kind of uh, focus area is. Novices, on the other hand, take their relationships, but they still look at them as steps. They can't really see how the big idea comes into play. They see a series of sequences or a sequence of steps that need to be completed, and they may have experience within that domain, but they cannot find a way to visually or conceptually link separate ideas to a new one in between. And that's where the expert connections make such a big difference. They have those connections and they can apply them back to the idea or the problem that they're working on. And that leads to this idea of conceptual versus perceptual, perceptual understanding or perceptive understanding. And with a, with a puzzle, we all know that we can take puzzles and rearrange the pieces to form a picture. Uh, well, that picture is really bad. But the expert, on the other hand, doesn't have to see the pieces and manipulate those individual pieces as concepts, or they can actually perceive what the end result should be. They are able to conceptualize in their mind the end result without having to really play with the pieces of a system. Um, novices, on the other hand, have to they have to figure out categories for those items. Experts have those, those categorical experiences. They can see the relationships between those relevant areas and how that forms to a big picture. Now, this isn't well understood. We're not really sure how this conceptualization changes into perception, um, but it's something that experts all show. Now, the fourth domain is pattern recognition. There are sometimes individual ideas that a novice sees as separate ideas. So we can see them, they are isolated, they are unique, they are on their own, and then they can start to put them into order. So they can see how there are sequential relationships between ideas, um, so we can go down the line. But then the problem is here at the final step, there is no letter E in our system. We've done step one, two, we've inserted step three where we might've had some prior experience, but when there's a new novel situation, novices don't always understand how to handle that well. Experts, on the other hand, have these schema. They can see the patterns between ideas. They can see the patterns between those schemata of their understanding, and they are able to intertransfer those as needed in order to apply them to novel situations. They can see a new problem, pull information that they need from the schema, seeing the big picture, and they can come up with these new solutions to new problems. They don't get stumped when there is a piece missing from the the problem in at hand. Those solutions are based on patterns that they have experienced. And what this shows is that a variety of experience leads to more patterns that can be fit into their schema. And so experts build the experience of where to fill in the missing pieces because of patterns that they have seen. And so that's why experience in any field is such a critical piece to building expertise, because then you can fill in the blanks based on other past experiences. So reviewing these four domains, experts all see connections between ideas. Experts all can recognize patterns in between interrelated ideas. Experts think in terms of big ideas. And experts all have conceptual understanding of that idea. They are able to take pieces of information and apply them in new ways. And that is what separates a novice from an expert. Thanks for watching this video. All of these ideas came from these articles. This collection is... Um, it looks at how experts and novices think differently. And a lot of these ideas uh, from my video are summaries of those pieces and then explanation on top of that. So um, if you're interested in this idea about how expertise is formed and how that differs or how you grow from being a novice to an expert, you should go and find these and give them a quick read yourself.